Hi there, I have another cute little project to show you. This time it is using the Snickers Fun Size. I made a little box with a belly band wrapped around it like this. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. We are using the Hearts and Kisses bundle. You can get it for 10% off. It's um, the stamp set and the punch that matches. So let me show you how to make this. You're going to need a piece of cardstock. This is blushing bride cardstock measured at three and a quarter inches by five. And we're gonna use the scoreboard and we're gonna score each side at one inch. All four sides, so the short side and the long side. All at one inch, okay? That's all we need with the scoreboard. And then we're gonna fold on the score lines and use our scissors and you want to cut up on the long side cut up to that score line and then I usually do a little cut in right there just to make the box fold in a little bit a little bit neater okay so it's gonna fold in like this. You wanna get the liquid glue. For me, I like using the liquid glue just because it gives you a couple of seconds to move things around if you need to. We're gonna do this to all four sides. So I just put a little bit of glue, it goes a long way with this, the Tombow glue. That was probably more than what I needed. And let's get this last one glued down. I made a bunch of these for my daughter's volleyball team. So they're perfect because you can get the fun size pack. Let me show you the pack. You get the fun size pack and you get, um, you know, these three flavors. And so some of them are gonna get the Twix, some M&Ms, and some the little Snickers box. Okay, we're gonna put that aside. And then I'm going to measure the belly band. Love this double-sided DSP. Hearts on one side, and it's part of the snail mail suite. One side is, um, Valentine's Day and other occasions. It's not just just hearts. And then the other one's super cute. Just snail mail, sending cards to people. So put a little bit of glue here. And this is the belly band. So it's going to hopefully if I measured that correctly. It around this box. Oops, I made it a little bit too tight. Let's see if I can still move my glue. Oh well. It'll still work. Okay. So I've got that all put together. This is the belly band. There we go with my stickers bar inside so now I want to decorate a little bit that you love those lips isn't that adorable I used on this one I used the poppy parade which matches the dark background of the DSP so this time I want to use the blushing bride make it a little bit lighter okay stamp our XOXO and I'm going to use black memento ink there we go 
them with the ink pads. And then our punch. I like to use the putty end of the take your pick tool to help me get the center. Like if the paper isn't long enough in the punch, this works really good. There we go. Okay, so we've got that. And then the XOXO, I am just going to cut this with my scissors. Nothing special. Okay, now to put it all together. Glue dots are your best friend. Put this right up here. XOXO, and I have these little gems. I think they're left over from a paper pumpkin a while ago, but gotta use them up, right? And I'm gonna use the mini glue dots. Put that right on the lips and for a little bit of bling, and there we go. There is the project. What do you think? I think that turned out so cute. Super simple. And again, that's using the hearts and kisses stamp set and the punch. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.